yeah, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. So it's me, old boy. Shout out to all my beloved brother, chosen. So I'm here to let you know what God is saying. God is saying your pain was for a purpose. You had to go through what the fire, the storm, and the rain. You made it. Understand? Yes. I know it's too hard. See, choosing you have gone through different what, different storm, different pain, different struggle. It looked like nothing is coming out, but I'm here to let you know that God is saying your pain, the storm, the rain, the difficulties, the struggle are all for a purpose. You, you need to understand. The Bible said when Jesus was in the in the middle of the sea, that, that there was a great storm, there was a great wind that the boat was about to capsize. The choosing was in among them. Jesus was what among them, among his disciples. But the Bible said they didn't give up. They didn't surrender. Peter called him. He said, Master, are you going to allow us to perish? <laughs> God. Jesus looked at him and said, O ye men of little faith. What does that mean? I'm here to let you know the storm is over. The pain is over. The difficulties all are for a purpose. You are choosing does not mean you never face tri tribulation. You never face struggle. No, but they make you to discover whom you really are as a chosen. When Peter, <laughs> hey God, I, I, love, I, I truly love the story. After all the difficulties Peter and his fellow disciples passed through with Christ, when Jesus was about to identify, define, narrate, explain, qualify Peter for whom he is, he said, upon thee will I build the mountain that the gate of hell could not prevail against it. What does that mean? Is that he's, he's telling Peter that all his struggles, pain, difficulty, the storm, the rain he made through, the fire, all these things that upon him now he have declared that the gate of hell will not prevail against him. I'm here to announce to you, bro. I'm here to announce, announce to you, sisters. I don't know who have abandoned you, but <laughs> they will hear good news about you. <laughs> Are you hearing me? I'm not here to, to make it sound as if it's funny. They will hear good news about you. Yes, they leave you because of your struggle, because of the storm you're passing through, because of the pain, because of the difficulties as a choosing. They will hear good news <laughs> that will terrify that you are choosing. Listen, God is about to announce you. All those pain you have passed through long time ago, all those difficulties you have been going through, nobody wants to support you. Nobody cares about you. Even people you assisted before, no one cares no more. God is here to let you know through me that the storm is over. The difficulties is over. Moses said in his in the book of Exodus, he said, Master, whom will I tell that that sent me? Who am I going to tell them that sent me? Do Israel have been a captive for so long, 400 years, but no one was able to be sent. No one was qualified to send to liberate them. You are a choosing. The purpose of your of your pain, struggles, is for you to liberate either your family your neighbors, the world, your co-workers, etc. So the Lord sent Moses to liberate Israel. And on the way, he said, Lord, whom will I say that sent me? <laughs> he said, what is that in your hand? <laughs> God. What is that in your hand that you are holding? He said, stop. He said, he throw it down. He said, throw it. It becomes what happened. He gave him all manners of sign that he, to confirm that he is a chosen that he have made him to lead them, to liberate them, that through him, Israelite, that was in captive for 400 years, 
that through him he will liberate them. So your, your purpose for your, your struggle, the storm, the pain, the fire you've gone through, all are for you to liberate the world as a chosen. To liberate them. So it's not yet over. It's not yet over until you free the captive. It's not yet over until you do what you confirm whom you are as a chosen. So I don't know what you have been going through, but it's over. I don't know who have betrayed you, but now they will confirm that you are a chosen. Why? Because the Lord has stood and said, Upon thee as a chosen will I build my temple, that the gate of heaven and earth, against the principalities and powers, against the haters, against the frustrators, against the gossipers, against the habitants of evil will not prevail against you. Neither demons that have been sent against you to bring you down, they will not prevail. Why? Because the mark is already upon you. He said, upon, he said, I have given you mark as a choosing. Wherever you go, you will be blessed. So, your, your pain have a purpose. The hardship have a purpose. The fire you go through have a purpose. The storm you are passing through have a purpose. Those haters have a purpose. Everything you pass through have a purpose. Don't conclude yet. Don't give up. You get me? Everything you are passing through have a purpose and they have a reason. Remain blessed and share this video to as many as you can share. Mostly your your people. Share it in WhatsApp. Share it in Facebook. Share it as many as you can. Now, not tomorrow. Because you don't know how many you can use this video to liberate and to save. Because many are passing through pain without realizing that all their pain have a purpose and if you have not subscribed kindly subscribe i truly am I'm, I'm begging kindly subscribe to my channel you understand help me share it kindly subscribe it's me your boy k samson once again remember and the storm is over